if that works. Cool. Mm. Okay, so you get to LA, you, you you play there for a little bit, you work uh, you work your way up, uh, you do an internship at an ad agency, I believe, and then uh, you kept applying to different jobs and you got a, a job at Uber for a little bit, is that? Is that right, so yeah, I got the internship, uh, locked that down just to kind of fill that gap in terms of finding a job. Um, but man, the, finding a job out there was really difficult. Um, took me six plus months to actually lock down solid interviews. And then once I actually got in the door at Uber, it was about a three month process throughout the interview. Um, and this is and not driving. I came back home in between that. Um, but yeah, it was it was an amazing opportunity. It just takes so long to actually progress there. Hmm. What's what your degree? What you do, uh, you do with Uber? Um, so I was on the EOPS team, event operations. So we were set out to redesign how Uber works specifically for events and venues. Um, so one of the most fun teams, I think, at Uber at the time, because we are kind of a startup within a startup. Um, we are a new team that was formed just because they found that quickly um, Uber broke events. So say Coachella with 120,000 plus people, um, 40 plus thousand people are gonna be taking Ubers in and out and uh, Uber essentially just crashed. Um, at the time. And so they built this team to really figure out how it would work for events and venues. Um, now you kind of see some of the work we've done at like LAX, um, where there's a pin code process that is what we kind of implemented and tested at these events and venues, um, as well as we kind of built out this entire huge operation on site there um, and run it. And it is a very, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to go to Coachella, um, but yeah. if you do, um, let me know how that process goes because it was extremely fun, but also um, extremely intense. What, uh, when that said, what is the whole, is like with surge pricing, it, was it your goal to eliminate the need for surge pricing? Yeah, and what's Uber's take on that? Because wouldn't Uber make more money with uh, surge pricing as well as the driver? Right. So surge pricing was definitely um, a huge pain point, but also, you know, highly involved in that process. Um, surge pricing was still a thing. Um, so as you can imagine, a typical ride from that parking lot, essentially that we're operating out of, um, which is a huge football size field. Um, the surge pricing went from a ride being twenty dollars to being close to like two hundred dollars. Um, at the egress point, the main egress point of the event. Um, so it did heighten, um, and that was something we had to look at in terms of how the algorithm worked um, for events and venues, just because it's under the most extreme constraints, but um, it definitely was involved. Well,